Hello, and welcome to Notes 9. I'm David Leedy from LotusNotebook.com. Today, we're going to talk about X pages with an introduction to searching. What we're going to do is we're going to have an X page with a view controller on it, and we're going to see how to search that view controller to bring up the documents that you're looking for. Uh, we're going to use the full text search capabilities of any Lotus Notes database in conjunction with an X page. This is going to give us our first look at scoped variables, which is a new feature that X pages gives us to keep variables resident in memory and not having to write out to cookies and things like that. Uh, we're going to build on the last example that I did in, in show number two and we're still going to make no modifications to the original database. Okay, let's take a look and see what this looks like. Okay, so in show number two, uh, the last episode, uh, we were working with this reach in database, and the point was to reach into a non modified database uh, so we can take advantage of some of the X pages uh, functionality. Uh, I just wanted to expand on that a little bit here and add a, a full text search feature to our little reach in database. So if we go to this X view, uh, X page, um, what we want to do here is add a, a, a way for the user to put in a search term and return any documents. Okay, so let's put a little space here and first thing we're going to do is make a table. Try and make this a little neat. Um, and Here's a label control. Let's drag this on here, and we'll go ahead and call this a uh, search term, I think. Okay, now next to it, we're going to put in an edit box. Okay, the name doesn't matter, we're not going to be using it. Now, what we're going to do here is we're going to bind the data from this field to a, a, a scoped variable. Um, what a scoped variable is, is this is a wonderful feature in XPages where we can actually save uh, a variable to memory in, in the web server and it just remembers it. Um, and there's different scopes. Um, there's a session scope uh, and request scope is the ones that I've used the most so far. A session scope, what that would do is that would keep the variable in memory for the life of the time that the person has signed on to the website and using it. Um, request scope uh, should keep the memory, uh, the variable in memory for the life of the page. So we're going to use request scope for now because we don't want to remember this search term every time they go back to this page. Okay, so we're going to say that's going to be requ request scope. We have to give it a name. We're going to call this search term. Okay, and to see this, uh, how this works, we're going to add a uh, computed field here. And we're going to give this a, vi uh, a value of JavaScript. And again, this is just an example here. Query equals. And we're going to pull this variable from memory. And again, this is just for the information, uh, just to see what this memory variable is. Um, so we're going to call it request scope, and the, the S is capitalized, and we're going to just use what we called it. So this will print out query equals request scope equals whatever the variable that the user put in, or the search term that the user added. Okay, now we're going to have to add a button here. And all this button's going to do, we're just, we'll call this submit for a label. Or no, no, we'll call this search. And the button type, we're just going to call submit. And then that should just submit the page with a search term. Now the last thing we need to do is we need to edit our view properties. See how we click on that, and we go to all properties. And what we're, where we want to go is under data, and then data again. And right here, search. And we'll compute this value. And we'll call this search term. And I'm, I'm not 100% sure. I think we need return here to return that value. Okay. 
Now let's see what this looks like. Log in here. Okay, so here's some different uh, documents in this test database. The query equals null. There's no search term right now. So if we say, I know I have one with the word justice in, and search. Now our query has changed to justice. And our one document that has it in here has been returned. We click on this. And here's a little test document. If we go back to search, again, query has become null. If we do another search, there you have it. We're now full text searching uh, our database that we never modified. Um, we're hitting against this database that has not had any modifications whatsoever. For more information, please visit any of these blogs. You've got the X Pages group blog at xpagesblog.com. Uh, there's a new blog uh, out. It's actually not that new. It's um, just has a new domain name called xpageswiki.com that Julian Buss uh, has put together. Of course, you've got the Domino Designer Wiki, and uh, as always, Planet Lotus for anything and everything Lotus Notes related. If you want to get a hold of me, here's my contact information: dleady at lotusnotebook.com, and I'm on Twitter. Thank you very much.